pleased today to uh, have with me uh, on the other end of this Skype connection, Alan Hayes. Alan is up in Canada, and he runs Ecolimo. And Ecolimo is uh, one of the first companies that I'm aware of, although I think there's some others that have been looking into doing it, that uses a Tesla Model S uh, to uh, provide limousine and black, or what we might call down here black car service. So I'd love to find out about how that's going, how it uh, started, and uh, what people think of it. So, uh, Alan, thank you so much for uh, this quick response to uh, to an email this morning and being able to uh, talk to me today. Oh, you're welcome. Good. Well, for, okay, so first of all, you're located where, Ontario? Uh, we're located just north of Toronto, Ontario, yeah. Okay, very good. Been there, love the city. Uh -huh. um, couldn't afford to live there, though, from what I see. <laughs> it's, one of the, it's, one of the, it's one of the more expensive cities, yeah, in the world, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I wouldn't have thought that, but uh, we watch a lot of programming that comes out of there that has to do with the housing market, and right. uh, I'm always astounded at the cost of real estate up there. It's uh, I, I guess I'm glad I'm down here. Um, anyway, hey, yes, I, there, yeah. yep. Well, look, let's start off first of all. What what's your background as far as uh, you know, limousine and, and chauffeuring and things like that? Okay, well, my 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 background basically is uh, I'm a mechanic to trade, and uh, over the years worked my way up into service management, okay. and about uh, seven years retired from the business. Uh, and decided uh, at the age I was at, I didn't want to do, I had to do something. And I had been driving limousines part time for a, a fellow up here and um, decided I would uh, enter into my own business and uh, wanted to do something a little different. Um, decided to use hybrid vehicles um, to offer an eco friendly transportation. Right. right. So far, so far, up to about seven years, I ran hybrids. Uh, uh, starting off way back with uh, Priuses and working my way up through Camry hybrids. And the last few years, I had a couple of Lincoln hybrids, Lincoln MKZ hybrids, okay. uh, which were great and did the job uh, very well. Um, a few years ago, when Tesla announced their, their Model S, um, I knew one day I just had to have that vehicle. It, it, was, right. it was the perfect vehicle for what I was trying to achieve, and that was basically a a, a very eco-friendly uh, method of transportation. Um, the hybrids, of course, have some emissions, uh, and uh, and the Tesla has zero emissions. So, so that was the car, uh, car of my dreams, basically, to to not only to drive but to run a run a business with one. Right now, are, so, is this is this business just yourself, or do you have other drivers? It's basically just myself. Okay. I'm, I'm fairly small. Um, well, when when I get uh, when I get busy or, or run or go on vacations or whatever, I do have a I have a, a fellow who I use uh, for backup, and uh, and my son also is available sometimes when when he's not working, so uh, in evenings, weekends. So, uh, but I, I do have a ninety ninety five percent of all the runs. Okay, and that of course gets you out of the house, so you and the missus aren't in each other's hair all the time. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I saw her slip out a little bit earlier. So. <laughs> yep. Okay, so you've been doing this for about seven years. Right. Um, starting off with hybrids, so maybe just tell us a little bit about the experience. Typically, how many miles did you put on in a year, and you know uh, how often did you trade the vehicles out? Right, uh, typically about 80, 80 to ninety thousand kilometers a year. Okay, um, and I would do that in it, so I would probably change them every couple of years. Okay, so pretty one and a half to two years, roughly, would be. Uh, Around the time I, w I would change them, um, I tended to uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be watching for what's the latest in hybrids, and uh, as I say, the, the the Prius and the Camrys did the job very well. But when Lincoln came out with a hybrid, uh, it, it was very good for my business because people like to see the word Lincoln out there. Oh, sure. When they're doing uh, you know some special transportation or you know air airports or whatever. So the the fact that the, having the name Lincoln and also hybrid uh, uh, side by side was great, and uh, the, the, you know it was a, the car did very well. Yep. So uh, of those cars, which uh, obviously the, the the customers liked the fact that they were driving around in a Lincoln, yep. um, as opposed to a Toyota. Um, yep. Yep. Exactly. What, what was your impression of those vehicles? You know, mechanically. I mean, did they? 
provide you with what you're looking for? Were there any kind of mechanical hiccups that you, you know, found in operating that many miles in a year's time? Yeah, no, uh, the cars uh, were, were, were very reliable. Um, hybrids, no matter who makes them, seem to be uh, a more trouble-free car than most others uh, I find. Uh, as I say, I'm a mechanic to trade and, and, and right. you know, for, for many, many years uh, uh, ran service departments. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm very aware of, of uh, what are the best cars out there. And uh, now my own experience with hybrids just confirms that, uh, that, that these hybrids, uh, for whatever reason, and uh, some of the reasons, the fact that the motor doesn't run as much as other right. cars, the, the brakes don't wear out nearly as much. I, I would get over 100,000 kilometers on pretty much any hybrid um, on brakes. Um, plus, uh, drivers of hybrids tend to go uh, to drive fairly gently because you, we're always trying to get the best out right. of these right. vehicles. Yeah. We're, 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 we tend to be hyper milers, right? Uh, more and more than uh, people in other cars. So that 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 bodes well for the vehicle. It, uh, you know, the vehicle is treated better and uh, doesn't have such a harsh life, possibly as some other other vehicles and, and, and other drivers. Well, I know that when I was in uh, Vancouver, oh, many years ago now, probably five, five, ten years, well, five or six years ago at least, uh, I was surprised at all of the Priuses yep. that were running around out there uh, doing taxi service. Of course, since then it's proliferated, but that was sort of the first, um, you know, West Coast city that I had come across where it seemed like every other uh, taxi cab out there was was a Prius. Prius. Yeah, yeah, and they've done well out there. T Toyota had a a, a, pro, a pilot project uh, a number of years ago where they supplied Priuses to the taxi companies in, in Vancouver, and they've done very well. They, they, there's Priuses there with uh, hundreds of thousand kilometers on them, and very little trouble. Uh, very few batteries. People always ask me, well, "Yeah, but what about the battery? You know, it costs thousands of dollars, and right. well, you have to change that." You know, the number of Priuses out there are hundreds of thousands, of course, worldwide, and very few batteries have been changed. So the, the, the lithium batteries have run well. And that now, of course, uh, people ask me with the Tesla, of course, uh, yeah, but what about the battery? But, you know, the, the Tesla, Tesla understands the, the, the batteries do last uh, very well. So they, they've guaranteed the battery for eight years, okay. unlimited uh, um, distance. And... Uh, after that, uh, you know, Tesla themselves uh, uh, tell me that uh, the lifespan of a battery is well past eight years in their in their estimation. Okay, great. Well, all right. So you've had good experiences with with the uh, with the the hybrid vehicles. Hybrids. When did you decide to commit to uh, to to the Tesla Model S? Uh, probably a few months ago. Um, okay. I. Uh, I waited, uh, they've been on the market for a couple of years now, I, I, I kind of watched them, a, a friend of mine has one, I've driven it a number of times, um, it was just a matter of time, uh, uh, you know, when I decided to uh, to offer this to my customers, and of course, it's not just my customers, it's just, uh, I have what uh, Tesla owners call the Tesla grin, grin, the Tesla grin, which is, uh, as I say, Tesla owners talk about that, and right. It's just such a pleasant car to drive, and such an amazing car to drive. You 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 feel yourself grinning all the time when you're when you're when you're driving it. It's amazing. So no no no. I mean I get immense pleasure out of driving it every day, and it's my office, you know, because I'm in it every day of the, of the right. week. And um, and of course my customers are uh, are quite amazed when they when they sit down and uh, uh, and understand just what they're in. Some of them know about it, some of them don't. But uh, right. either way, they're uh, very happy. Okay, well, well, we'll talk about the the, uh, the business side here in, in just a moment because I'm yeah. curious as to, you know, how how you operate. Do you you know is this we we've got this proliferation of lifts and Ubers and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah. so as far as the car is concerned, then you've had it approximately how many months now? Oh, one month. One oh one month. So it so it's really new then. That's great. I knew, yeah. Yeah. Did you did you dis I mean which one did you go with I assume the the P85 but you know tell me a little a little about the car and and the selection process what was going through your mind Well I looked at the P85 and the P85B and of course the the basic one is the S85 Right for my purposes the the S85 
was fine. Okay. It uh, basically is uh, the the adva- I think the people who buy uh, P85s and P85Ds um, are getting a basic the, the same basic car, but of course uh, a little bit more performance. Uh, the, I wasn't buying it for the performance. Right. Uh, I was buying it for uh, for obviously a lot of other reasons, but uh, so so the S85 uh, you know does an admirable job without having to go to the P85 or the P85D. So uh, the, the S85 is rear wheel drive, and, and up in up in Toronto here we do suddenly have some severe winters, and uh, I, I I got this car at the tail end of the of the winter and drove it in the snow and it was fine. Okay. Uh, I just say yeah, a friend of mine has the same, basically the same vehicle, an S85, and um, I've driven his in the snow, and uh, you know, with a good set of snow tires, it, it handles fine. Okay, well, that's good to know. I just wondering that would it would seem to me that it would make sense then that Tesla might offer an S85D. They do. For, yeah. Oh, do they? They do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that would make sense. So, but if you if you right. can get around there uh, with the uh, with the rear wheel drive, that uh, that I guess would be fine for you. It does a, it does a job just now. I think in the future, sure. I mean, uh, the four wheel drive might be the one to go with uh, later on, but right now, this this one does fine. Okay, very good. So let's let's talk a little bit then about about the business model here. Um, obviously, going from a a Lincoln hybrid, which I'm guessing was probably your last your previous car. Right. Um, and those, uh, if I remember, sticker out somewhere a little south, depending on how you have them equipped, somewhere around the thirty-five to forty thousand uh, dollar. Right. right yeah. and, I, and I'm speaking U.S. price, you know, U.S. Yep. prices here. Um, the, the S, I'm guessing, is at least fifty percent more, if not more than that. So I'm assuming you had to sit down and sort of look at the economics of this. Does it justify my going from? this car that's this number to this car that's this number. So walk me through what your, what your you know, sort of thinking process was. The, the main process was the fact that the gasoline I would save uh, per month, uh, I was spending, uh, depending on the price of gas, as you know, it's been going up and down and uh, right. it is down right now. But when it was at, uh, when it was at uh, its higher numbers, I was spending uh, upwards of uh, three or $400 a month Okay. gasoline. Um, so if you take that figure and put it on top of my, my the, the, the Lincoln payments, um, it then became very similar to what I'd be paying for a Tesla. Ah, and okay. That was really my, my, my thinking. You know, I mean, there was, a, there was a lot of other factors, but that was the, the bulk of it. Uh, you know, the fact that uh, I looked at my monthly payments and uh, uh, com- compared to my income and I thought, okay, the the, the Tesla is, is quite a bit higher. However, I'm not, I'm not paying for gasoline anymore. So um, uh, my, my, uh, a lot of people ask me, yeah, but you've got to pay for electricity, hydro. Um, they're very true, but uh, the hydro bills are a, a, a lot less, an awful lot less than the gasoline bills. Right. So my monthly payments actually have not changed an awful lot. Okay. So how do you how do people find out about this service? Do you you have an do you have an app for that, <laughs> or oh, you run yeah. ads in the yellow pages, or a website, Facebook? How do, how do people find out about you and uh, arrange to uh, have you uh, drive them? Right, um, a number of ways I do it. I I do have a website. Uh, uh, I actually uh, a few years ago uh, when, when I knew that one day I would have a Tesla. I obtained uh, a, a, a domain name, it's Tesla for, teslaforhire.com. Okay. So I grabbed that a few years ago, and of course now I'm glad I did because I right. use that. And that is, the, when, I, when you go onto that website, it's directed to my, my Eco Limo website, which talks about my hybrid and, my, and, and the, sorry, my Tesla and, any, and, and the services I offer with that. Um, so that was what that that's uh, so having the website there. I'm sure people can find that website by 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 googling and other other okay. other methods. Um, I advertise on a local uh, advertising media here called Kijiji. I don't know if you've heard of that. That's no. uh, it's similar to uh, eBay in a sense of uh, or your eBay auction or your eBay advertising uh, you have there. Um, uh, it's it's a Canada wide uh, company. Oh, okay. that, Set. Possibly something like Craigslist down here. It's actually you're right. It's very like Craigslist. Yeah. Okay, all right. I actually do use Craigslist, but I find Kijiji 
uh, it's a little the graphics and everything are a little bit better, so okay. I, I tend to use that more. So there's Kijiji, and then local advertising um, in my local newspapers here up in Aurora, um, and the Toronto newspapers. I, I've, I've been contacting them, and they're going to do an article on on my company. My, my as I say, my local newspapers just recently did an article on my company too. So uh, all these little things help. Little things, little things help. Right. So what typically what type of uh, assignments, I guess for want of a better term, uh, hires do you get? Is it take us, you know, uh, young kids to the prom? Is it run executives to the airport? What, what do you, or just is this a smattering of a little everything? Um, it's more airports than anything else. Um, as I say, being a month old with the Tesla, uh, it's, it's a little early to, to know how, what direction this is heading. Um, with, with my hybrids, uh, ninety-five percent of my my uh, my driving was through the airports. Um, the, actually, probably 90, 85, 90 percent. The rest of it was uh, uh, drives through the city, the Toronto, uh, maybe for a sports event, a corporate event, a, a dinner out, that type of thing. Right. Uh, um, I don't know how much that'll change with uh, with the Tesla. I, I I'm certainly promoting it to be a little bit different in the sense. Uh, uh, there's, there's companies out there who, who would like the Tesla for maybe some, maybe for a corporate event they would not normally right. use a, a hybrid for. So, uh, and I've had a number of inquiries, and I've, I've actually had last week I had a, an insurance company in Toronto uh, hire me to, to take one of the executives for a dinner. Um, there's uh, there's quite a, I'm getting quite a few calls uh, from uh, from couples who are getting married. We would like to see the test run, uh, I guess, sure. in, uh, for the wedding, uh, wedding transportation. Right. And I'm promoting that. I'm promoting that on the, my KGG advertising. Um, so that's, uh, as I say, a little early, but just being a month in, in the springtime. Uh, uh, the summer, I hope, holds uh, you know, uh, business for, as I say, all these different things, weddings, corporate. Uh, the airports will continue. They're, I'm busy with them for the last uh, many, many years. And I've got many steady clients, and uh, I, I do charge a little bit more for the Tesla. Yeah. And now I'm now, uh, you know, offering uh, my customers a Tesla for a, a slightly pre premium price, and and some of them taking it, some of them, some of them uh, just want to go with a regular hybrid. So. Uh, oh, so you still continue to operate it then too? I, I have. I kept one hybrid. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So typically, your rate is what to run from. The airport into uh, into downtown. How does no, that compare? More, it's more from the uh, my, the, the, yeah, it's more from the area. Uh, I, I live up in, uh, as I say, just north of Toronto. Okay. In a, in a, in a town called Aurora. Um, so my most of my clients uh, from the airport runs are from Aurora Newmarket area. Oh, okay. To to the airport. Because for me to go to Toronto and then go to the airport, it's a little bit of a out of my way. Oh, all right. But uh, I am getting some calls from because because of the test I know uh, I am getting some Toronto clients calling and uh, you know I, I advise them I can do it but I have to charge a little more because of the distance wise for me and uh, but to go on a test some you know some people are obviously happy to pay a little bit more. Right. Well, let's let's talk about so of the people that you have you have transported up to this point. What's been the uh, what's been the reaction? What are you hearing from them? Um, just a very, very pleasant reactions from uh, from the clients. Uh, uh, you know, if I, it's funny when I have a couple uh, with with a link and they generally sit in the back, but now the the husband and you, most of the husband, sometimes the wife, they want to sit in the front. <laughs> yeah, they want to watch that the, screen, don't they? Yeah, yeah, because uh, sitting in the front, yeah, I guess you experience the car a little bit better. They've got, they've got this uh, amazing screen in the in, in the vehicle you've probably seen. And uh, they want to be up close to that, and uh, uh, see, see, you know, basically see what it's all about. So, so that that happens, a little, you know, more than they ever did with the with the with the hybrids. Um, but whether they sit back or front, they they sit back, and the comments are very comfortable, very smooth, um, very spacious. Uh, you know, which is all the reasons I knew the Tesla would be a, a great, you know, um, transportation vehicle. Is anybody? Are there any anyone else in the Toronto area that's uh, that's using Teslas for black car services? Not yet. Not yet. I'm the first. I'm the first. I wanted to be the first in Canada, but uh, 
I, I understand there's a company in Montreal and I believe a company in Vancouver okay. started already. So I'm the first in Ontario. Okay. Which is, of course, Toronto, uh, the Toronto area, basically. Uh, so uh, to be the first around here is, is, is right. I'm happy with that. All right. Are, are, if you start getting lots of calls and people want you to do this, are, are, do you have any aspirations of, of adding more cars and, and drivers or are you just happy doing what you're doing right now? At this point, I'm happy doing what I'm doing now. At my age and stage in life, uh, um, you know, to, to, to expand really isn't in, uh, isn't in my thoughts. Right. So just, just to, to keep it, keep it small and small and simple is fine. Okay. How, how, how supportive has Tesla been uh, for you? Since this is one of the early sort of, you know, limo services, the cars were yeah. going to obviously get driven much more than they would if they were in private hands, right. I would think. Um, t Tesla haven't said an awful lot about it. Uh, there, there's, I, I don't know if you know or heard, but uh, Tesla service is phenomenal. I, I was in that business before, the, the automobile service business, and, I, and uh, my job was to provide good customer service. Um, I, uh, the level of service Tesla gives all their customers is, is absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, if, 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 if my service that I used to give in, in, in the business, uh, if, if I call that five star, then I would give Tesla many stars above that. <laughs> they're, they're, they're quite amazing. So, but that's what they've all, they give that to all their clients, right. whether, whether it's me or, or a private, uh, a private individual. Um, and it's probably a little early to tell, uh, as I say, just being a month old, uh, to know just what, uh, what, what, what's going to happen down the road as far as the higher mileage is concerned and how they, how they look after that. But uh, I, have no, I have no worries about it. Just, just the, seeing the way they operate, uh, that's the least of my concerns. Okay. So typical uh, week, you will do how many, uh, how many um, rides? Typical week, um, I, I'm average in this time of year, which is my busy time of year, uh, uh, January to uh, to March are probably the three busiest ones of the whole year. Oh, really? Um, yeah, ma mainly because of uh, people, uh, clients heading uh, on vacation, heading south to the warmer weather. <laughs> yeah. uh, and 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 of course, I still got my my my, my corporate clients. I, I have them steady all year long. Right. Uh, but as I say, in the in the in the winter months, um, I, I get a lot more uh, uh, customers uh, driving uh, flying south. So heading to the airport. Um, so this time of year, I'm, I, I'm averaging about uh, two to three runs a day. Okay. So uh, I, ca so I uh, caught you very fortunately between a run then. Right now, yes. All uh, right. Not normally, because I'm, I'm busy in the mornings and evenings. Okay. So mid midday, I'm usually not too bad. It's, it's time, time, to, uh, time to relax at home. So it's, it's, it's pretty good in, uh, in that sense, yeah. All right, great. Well, Alan... Thank you so much for uh, taking the time and sharing our, our uh, your story with us. This is great. Very welcome. All right. Much success to you. Thanks a lot, Bill. Take right. care. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.